Welcome back to the fourth and final segment of my math, soapy math series. So the last element that we are going to go over today is calculating and using percentages. It's very important that you understand percentages. We are going to go have to go back to our algebra class from high school, um, but trust me, it's worth it and it's pretty easy to grasp, I think. Once you understand what you're doing, it, you should be good. So, have you ever seen a recipe that looks something like this? Coconut oil, 15%, tallow, 60 castor, 25 And you go, wow, I'd like to use this recipe, but how do I know how many ounces of oil do I need for each? How much lye? How much water do I need? This is where percentages come in handy. Why do people create recipes like this? Well, one, you can easily size this recipe up or down to meet your mold size. Like, it's super simple when you know the percentage to calculate a recipe that fits your mold. This is how I create recipes. This is generally how I share them. This is the best way to get a recipe. I know it's easier if everything's just spelled out and it gives it to you, but understanding this style of recipe and being able to basically calculate it to fit your mold size will be a huge benefit for you. So let's determine the mold capacity. To determine how much soap your mold will hold, you're going to, this is the volume of your, your mold, you're going to do the following formula. So mold volume times 0.4, that's gonna give you the ounces of oils in the recipe. It's not giving you the entire recipe. It doesn't include the water or the lye, but it's telling you how many ounces of oil you will need. If you don't know your mold volume, measure the inside width, length, height, multiply the three together and that's going to give you your mold volume in cubic inches. Why do we choose 40%, right? It seems random. Basically, it's assuming that 40% of your recipe will be made up of approximately 35% water and 5% lye. If you do a water discount, if you super fat, if, like that could change. That 40% is very flexible. Um, but it's a good place to start if you're not sure. Modern Soap Making has a really great article on this. I will link um, the information below. You definitely can check it out. If you're happy being in the ballpark, 40% is great. Go ahead and use that. If you wanted to be super precise, definitely check out her posts because that will give you more math than you probably want. Um, but it will help you determine exactly how much your mold will hold. So I created a cheat sheet a number of years ago. Um, this is approximately how much oils different size molds will hold. So that two and a half pound Crafter Choice mold, um, which Amazon and um, Wholesale Supplies Plus sells, holds approximately 28 ounces with a 12 water lye solution, 12 ounces of water lye solution. The three pound molds, silicone molds that Brambleberry sells, hold approximately 34 ounces and a 14 ounce water lye solution. The five pound molds that Brambleberry and other suppliers sell hold about 55 ounces of oil and 10 pound molds hold about 110 ounces of oil. These are, again, rough estimates. You might be able to hold more or a little less. It really depends on how you move, use your mold, how much you fill it up. But this is a good place to start. If you know you have that two and a half pound mold, you can just assume that you're gonna hold 28 ounces and then adjust from there. So once you know how much oil your recipe is going to use, it's really simple to calculate your recipe. You take the percent of oil A 
multiply that by the total weight of your oils and that's going to give you how much of oil A you need. So let's assume we want to make a five pound batch of soap. We know that we're going to, re that recipe, a five pound batch requires 55 ounces of oil total. So let's go back to that previous recipe. We would take 15% and multiply that by 55 ounces. 60% times 55 ounces, 25% times 55 ounces, and that's going to give us how much oil we need for each of those oils. So again, 15 times 100, time, or 15 divided by 100, that's how we're converting to percentage, uh, the percentage into decimals. Multiply that by 55, you need 8. Two, five ounces. Sixty percent would be thirty-three ounces, and twenty-five percent would be thirteen point seven five ounces. Double check your math by adding up these three values. If they equal fifty-five, then you've done it correctly. If I wanted to use the same recipe for a three-pound batch, I do the same math but multiply each one by thirty-four ounces because that's the total amount of oil in a three pound batch. So you see how easy it is to scale a recipe to any size. It's great. They said working in percentages is the way to go all the time. So an oil blend contains 50% olive oil, 20% palm oil, 30% coconut oil. How many pounds of olive oil should be used with eight pounds of coconut oil? If you are doing the Soap Guild certification test, you will see questions like this. <laughs> They're going to give you part of the information and you have to figure the rest out. This is where our algebra comes in. So if you see something like this, if you are doing the certification test, write out what you know. That is my first step. Write out what you know. We know that 50% of olive oil is going to be something. We know that we have 20% of palm and it's going to be something. We know we have 30% of coconut oil. Oh, and that is eight pounds of our recipe. Great. Now we know enough to set up an algebraic formula. We need to determine eight pounds is 30% of what or X. X is going to be our total oil weight. That's what we're always trying to determine when we're using percentages. So. Again, set this up as an algebraic equation. So eight pounds is 30% of one. Eight, eight pounds equals 0.3 times X. Again, 30% of X, our total weight batch. So we need to get X on its own. Simp to do that, you simply divide each side of your equation by 0.3. So eight divided by 0.3 equals 0.3 X divided by 0.3. Obviously the 0.3s are going to cancel out on the side of the x and that's going to leave us with x equals 8 divided by 0.3. So x equals 26.6 ounces or pounds. I think this one was in pounds. Sorry. Um, that is the total weight of oils in our recipe. Now that we know the total weight, we just go back to the previous math that we did. We take whatever it is, in this case we wanted to find out olive oil, so that's 50%. We take 50%, multiply it by the total batch weight, which is 26.6, and we need 13.3 pounds of olive oil. So, I know it seems like a lot, but just kind of review these if you're not familiar with it, and remember, set it up as an algebraic equation and get x on its own. And x is always going to be, what's the total batch weight? That's always, are the weight of oil, sorry, the total weight of oils for that batch. That's always what we're trying to determine. So you might also see questions like this on the exam where you need to determine a percentage from a weight. So we're basically doing the reverse. An oil blend consists of three pounds of coconut oil, five of palm, seven of olive. What is the percentage of palm oil in the blend? So Again, we need the total weight of oils. That is always your goal. So to do that, we know all the weights, so we just add them up. Three plus five plus seven is 15 pounds. We've got 15 pounds of oils in this recipe. 
divide the amount of the oil you are trying to find the percentage for by the total weight of oils. It's that simple. So we need to know how much palm oil, which is five pounds. So we take five pounds, divide it by 15, we've got 33%. If we wanted to do it for coconut oil, we would divide three by 15 pounds. If we needed to determine palm or olive, we would just divide seven by 15 pounds. That's gonna give you the percentage. Convert the decimal back by multiplying by 100. So the answer to this question is we need 33.3% of palm oil in this, or 33.3% of palm oil is, is what we would use for this recipe. So that's the two ways you're gonna see percentage, either going from a, a weight to percentage or percentage to weight. Here's a practice problem. So an oil blend is to contain 50% olive, 20% palm, 20 coconut, and 10 shea butter. How many pounds of palm oil should be used with six pounds of shea butter? Go ahead, pause the video here and do your math, and then come back and see if you did it correctly. So again, we're setting up our algebraic formula. We need to determine that six pounds is 10% of what? That's our x. So 6 pounds equals 0.1 times x. 6 divided by 0.1 equals x. x equals 60. The total weight of oils for this batch is 60 pounds. Now that we know that, we're going to multiply by 20% because that's how much palm is in the recipe. 0.2 times 60 equals 12 pounds. So the answer is 12 pounds. Did everyone get that? If you didn't, again, comment below with where you got stuck and I will help you figure it out. Okay, moving on. Here is your cheat sheet. <laughs> These are your formulas that you need for determining your whole recipe. So step one, you're gonna determine your lie. Step two, your lie discount. Once you know your lie discount, you for can forget the amount in step one, we're not gonna use it again because we have our new lie amount. Step three, calculating your water. Again, there are two alternatives. Use whichever formula makes sense for you. Practice problem time. I'm gonna put you to work. You're gonna use everything that you have learned in the past four videos to create a recipe and I shouldn't say create, I've already created the recipe, but to determine all the values that you will need for this recipe to go and make it. So I have created a recipe and the total batch weight is gonna be 28 ounces. Without using a lie calculator, I want you to determine the weight of each oil, percentages, the lie and water amount, part one, two, and three basically. Um, apply a 5% lye discount, part two, to the recipe, and we're gonna use a 30% lye solution, which was part video part three. So, <laughs> here you go. This is everything you need. So your recipe, 5% castor, 20% coconut, 40 olive, 15 shea, and 20 of palm. You can go ahead and use this chart right here to fill in the values. So again, your total weight of oils is 28 ounces. Here are the sap values for each of those oils. You don't have to go find them. Use these sap values. I want you to determine the lye, then do a 5% lye discount and determine the water based off a 30% lye solution strength. Go ahead, pause this video right here, work out the math, and when you're ready, hit play. So I took 28, multiply that by 5%. That gave me 1.4 ounces of castor. And then I repeated that. Coconut was 28 times 0.2. Olive, 0.4 times 28. Shea butter, 0.15 times 28. And those gave me, gave me the following amounts of oils that I needed in ounces. So hopefully everyone got that. Then I plugged in the sap values for each oil and multiplied the oil by the sap value, 
Once I got each of those amount, I then added them all up and that gave me my total amount of lie, which was 4.06. So that's step one. Now we're going to determine our lie discount. So here are the formulas. I pulled them up for you. Total amount of lie times the discount and then subtract that lie discount from the total amount. We know we have 4.06 ounces of lye. We just determined that. We have a 5% discount, so we're going to multiply that by 0 0.05. That's going to give us a 0 .0, I'm sorry, 0 0.203 ounces lye discount. So we take 0 .4, 4.06 minus 0 0.203, and our new lye amount is going to be 3.857 ounces. That's how much lye we need for this recipe. So hopefully everyone got that. Next, we want to determine our water with a 30% water solution strength, lye water solution strength. So the amount of lye divided by 0.3, total weight of that lye water solution minus the lye will give us our water. So 3.85 ounces divided by 0.3 gives us 12.83. That's the total amount of water and lye. 12.83 minus 3.85, we need 8.98 ounces of water. And there you have it, everything we need for our recipe. We can now go make it. Did you get those results? Now, just for fun, I plugged this into SoapCalc because I wanted to check my math. And hey, look at this. Our total weight of oils is 28 ounces. Our lye concentration is 30%. Our super fat is 5%, right? Those are all the guidelines I gave you, so I entered those. Now let's go check. Oh, look, water, 8.99. Basically, that's the exact same thing we found. Our lye is 3.85. That's what we found. Our weights of our oils match up with our math. We did it right. It's so exciting when it turns out right. Hopefully this was helpful and it all makes sense. If you have questions on how to use a lie calculator, I have a video I did a few weeks ago. So definitely I will link that below as well. But go back to that um, and that should help you determining how to use a lie calculator. Thank you for sticking around, watching. I know this was a lot of boring math, um, no fun soap making. But now you have the skills to go ahead and calculate a recipe from scratch all on your own. Again, I do have an 18 page handout with all of this spelled out, all the formulas, examples. So if you're interested in that, you can check out my webpage. You don't have to. Everything that is in those handouts, I do teach here in these four part videos. Thanks for watching and we will be going back to soap making next week.